Okay, for this trick, uh, we're just going to use a shuffled pack of cards. And um, what I'd like you to do is just check them out real fast. Awesome. And uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Actually, a little bit of experimentation, though. Um, so it should be fun. I don't know if you've read H.G. Um, Wells' The Time Machine. I think he's sort of responsible, though, for uh, experiments in time and moving back and forth in time. Or uh, seen the film. The film scared the pajamas off of me as a kid. Um, scared and left three quarters of the way through, which is a bad idea, especially when it is actually a happy ending. And then there's Doctor Who, which I understand is very popular among the young people, um, about time travel and stuff like that. So we're going to be experimenting with time travel, though. And the time machine in the deck is the Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades actually is the time machine that controls the deck. That's one of the reasons the Ace of Spades is so famous, even though not too many people actually know um, how to use its unique capabilities. Um, to demonstrate though, um, let's have a card selected. Um, a spectator could pick a card. In this case we're going to use the King of Diamonds. Okay, King of Diamonds out of the pack. Um, so what we'll do, we'll uh, take that there, square it up, give it a shuffle, all that jazz. Awesome. All right, perfect. Right now, King of Diamonds, somewhere in the middle of the pack. Um, and what I'd like to show you, though, is just how the Ace of Spades works. It's really not too difficult. Um, all you have to do, put it right there, turn it on. Sorry. Um, and we're going to go back in time, though. Back in time, 5, 10, let's go back in time, about 15 seconds. And that was back when the King of Diamonds was in the middle and back when the Ace of Spades was on top. Ta -da! So that was kind of weird and confusing but I don't, I don't want you to be confused so we're gonna do it again and maybe you'll sort of get how this works okay so uh, what we'll do push it out just like this we can say to our spectator you know if they'd like to push it in they can and stuff like that and we're not even gonna shuffle it we're just gonna square it up leave it right there in the middle of the pack Awesome. So right now, the King of Diamonds is somewhere in the middle of the cards. And uh, right now, the Ace of Spades is on top. Okay, so remember this situation. What we'll do, we'll take the Ace, put it about halfway in the pack. Alright, just right there, so you can see it here. Okay, and, and the, uh, then we're going to do the, do the time machine capabilities. So, we go back, five seconds. 10, about 15 seconds back in time. And that was back when the King of Diamonds was in the middle and the Ace of Spades was on top. So, that's how the time machine works. It, it reverses the order of the cards in the pack. But when I was thinking about this, I really wanted to um, push it to uh, a new level, shall we say. So, what I did and what we're going to try now is we're going to not just go back in time like like 15 seconds. 15 seconds. I, I love 15 seconds. That's great. But let's try to go back in time like a lot more than that. Like go back in time, not just seconds, but days, weeks, actually about a month and a half ago. Because that's when I first got this deck of cards. And that was when I first got it out of the box and looked at it. And if I time it right, right there, about a month and a half ago, because that was when I took the deck out of the box, and it was in brand new deck order. And I want you to see this. There's the diamonds, ace through king, clubs, ace through king, hearts, ace through king, and the spades, ace through king. And that is an experiment with our time machine. Thanks for watching.